Hey, what's up? This is Shari, and you're hanging out with me inside my dream lab where I do these things. Someone recently posted on one of my videos and asked how to do a duet or open verse challenge, and I thought this would be a good opportunity to document my process of doing an open verse challenge um, and showing you guys how to get a professional sounding audio quality when you are doing a duet. So I'm super excited about this, and actually I'm recording this after the fact. I um, was doing the open verse challenge for Haley Knox's Charismatic. How'd you get so pretty? If you haven't heard that song, that song is so dope and it's been in my head like for days. I've had it on repeat. Um, let's just get into it. So the first thing that I do is download the video on from TikTok. So you're going to go to your phone, go to the video, and then where you see like the share button or the messages button, you're going to click that and then you're going to click save video and then it'll be in your phone. So save the video and then you're going to take the video and send it to yourself, uh, to your computer. I airdrop it to my computer so that I could um, use the audio in my recording software, which is Pro Tools. If you want to know what my home studio setup is, I actually did do a video on that. So you can check that out here. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pull up Pro to the Tools. Okay guys, so what you do is you're going to just take the video and import it into your recording software. I'm using Pro Tools, so what I would do if it wasn't already here, you see, I told you I already recorded this. So what I did was I just went to file and then import and then video. And then you just search for the video and then it uploads it in here. So once you do that, It's in there. So I did um, write and record the song already, but if you want to see my process for how I write a song, you can check out this video where I actually did that. All right, so the song is done, and so now you're going to just export it. So if you have recording software and everything like that, then you should likely know how to export the stuff. So go ahead and export it, and once you export it, record your video. So you're just going to play back the music on something. I usually will pull up iTunes and um, just record it, uh, or sorry, just put it on repeat on iTunes and then um, record the video. So for this one, this video in particular, because I was actually having a lot of issues that day, like my computer died when I was in the middle of recording and then I lost footage on my camera and it was just a long day. Uh, so it took me a couple of hours. I'd like, I started the process at 1 PM and I don't think I finished until like two or three in the morning, the next morning. So, uh, but you know what? It's, that's a part of the process, right? That's a part of of the process. I'm learning, I'm building this muscle, and it's going to get easier and easier as time goes on. Anyway, so once the video is recorded, you need to go ahead and sync the video, the video that you recorded to the music, and then sync that to um, the original video. So I use a program called CapCut. Uh, it's free. There it is. So I use CapCut, and basically what I do is I start initially with just making sure that my lips are lined up with the audio so cool so then you import a video in here so if you don't know how to do that basically i would just like look in my finder for the video and then just put it into the software so boom pretty easy and there are a lot of tutorials and stuff like that for how to use CapCut. Um, and actually, I didn't even... I mean, it's kind of intuitive if you... You can use this on iMovie or whatever recording uh, software you have. Or video editing software. So then you just make sure that the music lines up with, with the music. And I know that it does because... Yeah. And then at the very end, just getting rid of that so that it stops when my video stops. And then I'm just going to go and click on export. All right, so once you export the video, then you're just going to send it back to your phone. So I would airdrop it to my phone. My phone's currently dead. Um, but once you get it into your phone, I'm going to show you on the screen right here that what you do is just edit it. So you just take the video and you crop it so that it's just 
you, it's a square. And I think the important piece of it here is to make sure that you tag the right audio because initially when I posted this, I didn't tag her audio. So you're going to want to go to TikTok to the sound that you want to use, the video that you want to use, and then you're just going to click on use this sound. So do that, upload the video into TikTok, and then what you're going to do is turn the original sound, sorry, turn the added sound all the way down and then the original sound all the way up so that the music that you recorded is in TikTok. And that's how yours, you hear yours instead of hers. Because I don't know if you've ever listened to some videos where they have like both of them at the very same time and it's like, but they're not even in sync and it doesn't, doesn't sound very good. And then when you post it into uh, TikTok, just write hashtag duet. So yeah, that's my process. That's how it's done. Um, I hope that you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please go ahead and click that thumbs up button and leave a comment and let me know what open verse challenge or duet are you about to do so I can come check you out on TikTok or wherever that you are. Also, please subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to click the notification bell so you can be notified every time I put out a new video. I'll see you on the next one, but until then, keep dreaming with your eyes wide open. Bye! I'm going in circles, you spin me around, you got me going in circles, dizzy and I'm wound up,